This is Excellence El Carmen Puticana and it apparently is mind-blowing. Seemingly every time I talk about a great Puticana hotel, whether it is Secrets or even Excellence Puticana itself, all anyone could ever respond is, yeah, but have you been to Excellence El Carmen? Have you been to Excellence El Carmen, they say. Have you been to Excellence El Carmen? Well, I am finally here and the hype better be real. This is Excellence El Carmen Puticana. Excellence El Carmen Puticana. Let's do it. I'm finally here. I'm super excited. Uh, this is the honeymoon suite. This is one of the best rooms you can get in Puticana, period. It has a gorgeous walk-in shower, an awesome dual vanity in the bathroom. The living room has a liquor cabinet, not a liquor dispenser, but a liquor cabinet. The mini bar is overflowing with options, but the best part is what's outside this honeymoon suite. I have my private pool deck with two day beds, as well as a personal pool space. There is a community pool space as well, and everything is situated beachfront. This room isn't perfect though. It does have a little wear and tear, and it isn't as crisp, fresh, and clean as my room at Live Aqua. So yesterday I got here via golf cart. I came over from Finest, which is right next door. Uh, when I got here, I had a private check-in at Excellence Club. My room wasn't ready yet, so I went down to the coffee shop to try to get some energy. After that, I went to the grill, which is the steakhouse, but I had it for lunch, which is a nice surprise. The ceviche and the tuna were incredibly fresh and tasty for all-inclusive food. Uh, after that, I made it back to my room and I promptly passed out. I woke up sometime late into the evening and all I could think about was food again. Surprise, surprise. I ordered room service and I was disappointed to find out it's the exact same menu that's over at Finest. However, one thing that changed my life was the salmon. For all-inclusive room service food, the salmon was life-changing. It was absolutely otherworldly. And that pretty much gets us caught up to speed. It's officially day number one here at Excellence El Carmen, Punta Cana. Okay, it's my first official full day here at Excellence El Carmen. It is a little cloudy right now, which is unfortunate, but this property looks really beautiful. I can't wait to see what it's like under full sunshine and it's full glory. Uh, I'm starving right now. I don't know what is wrong with me lately. All I can think about is food. I wanna to try to hit the buffet right away. I'm not sure where it is, but this is not the biggest property. I think if I walk towards the main building, I can pretty much just figure out where it is. Okay, that was obscene. That was a scene. That was, I don't even know what that was. I'm still trying to gather myself. Uh, okay, that was not the breakfast buffet. That was Excellence Club. I couldn't find a buffet and I needed some nourishment. I needed some sustenance and I knew I could get at least a little something up there as well as ask for directions. And what happened was an unexpected turn of events. That was Mama Juana meets mimosas meets blended drinks meets powdered sugar donuts from heaven. I got a buzz right now that's half diabetic, half degenerate. I'm not even sure what's going on right now. I need to, I think, get inside this coffee shop and try to straighten myself out so I can at least try to salvage some of this day. I walked into that coffee shop with every intention of straightening myself out for the afternoon, but I'm walking out of there even more bent and twisted. I blame that Spanish coffee and that mocha vodka for my current state of affairs. The sun is not coming out, it's not being cooperative, but at this point, who really cares? I'm just gonna head to the pool and see what it's all about.
The sun finally decided to make an appearance late in the afternoon, as it always seems to do up here in Uvero Alto. I talked about this phenomenon when I was at Live Aqua. In this region, the sun always seems to come out early in the morning, go away in the late morning, early afternoon, and then come back with a vengeance late afternoon. And definitely did that again here today. It's a lot like the pool at Live Aqua. It's a triple decker setup. I walked up to the food truck after the pool. I'm in such need of some food right now. They had nothing on the menu. And I thought they were joking. I walk up, I said, I want a Dominican patty, I want a Cuban sandwich. The menu looked awesome. And he goes, me familia, we have nothing here. So uh, a slight letdown for excellence that usually doesn't happen too often. So I pivoted and went to the coffee shop instead. I got another indulgent drink. I got some pastries. I got a yogurt for the road. It doesn't have to last for too long. Tonight I'm going to Magna and I'm ordering a tomahawk for dinner. How cool is that tomahawk at Magna? I can't believe it's included in the price. At any other all-inclusive, you'd pay an extra 40, 50, 60 dollars for that piece of steak. Here, when you upgrade to Excellence Club and eat at Magna, you get that for free and you could have it every single night. In fact, that is what I would do. If I was coming here as a civilian, just casually on my own vacation, I would eat at Magna and order that tomahawk every single night. Uh, and then this morning, uh, the weather has been uncooperative, unfortunately, but the good thing is, I now have a reason to finally go over and make it to the breakfast buffet. The breakfast buffet was pretty standard issue for an excellence property. Uh, I liked how they had like words of encouragement, positive sayings, slogans all over the buffet area. That was something I've never really seen before. Um, they had a dual omelet station, which is great. That's always the biggest backlog at any breakfast buffet. There was also a dedicated Mexican station, a Dominican station. Uh, there was a Bellini and Mimosa station. There was a Bloody Mary station. Uh, they also had a big old bucket of cervezas. And for nine o'clock in the morning, it was surprisingly empty. Uh, overall, for an excellence property, it was pretty standard issue. What's not been standard issue has been the weather today. It's been dreadful. So I'm hoping tomorrow will be bigger, better, and brighter. It has to be. I'm praying that it is because it's my last day in Punta Cana and I still have a lot to do on this property. Uh, I'm trying not to think about it though. I'm just gonna go to dinner right now. I hate hitting you with all this food content in a row, but it's all I can do. Uh, like I said, I hope tomorrow will definitely be better. I definitely need to make up for yesterday. Yesterday did not go as planned. It was part weather and then just part my evening. I went to the Spanish tapas place for dinner. I just went there on a whim last second. I switched up my plans. I'm wishing that I didn't because um, it was majorly disappointing. Uh, the food was like college dorm room food, both in its caliber and in its presentation. Portions were extremely small and the place was severely understaffed. I think there was like only one or two wait staff for the entire restaurant. It took them a couple hours to get all of my small little plates out. If they could not even keep pace with my hunger, there's no way they could keep pace with the restaurant. Uh, after a couple hours of that, I just finally gave in and uh, went over to the buffet or thought I'd try to go to the buffet, but the buffet was closed. There is no buffet here in the evening, which I actually can't ever recall experiencing at an all-inclusive where there's no buffet at night. So I went to bed a little disappointed. You can only have uh, room service food so much. Today is a brand new day though. Like I said, I wanna have the best day ever. Uh, I wanna to go to the number one restaurant tonight, uh, She Isabel. Before that, I wanna check out the beach. But before that, I wanna get things started at Magna. That is the Excellence Club restaurant where I ate my first night. It's where I had that awesome tomahawk. They're also open for breakfast.
I think Magna itself is a reason to upgrade to Excellence Club here. The caviar and quail eggs, the assortment, the juices, the omelet was beautiful. Never in my life did I think I'd be calling an omelet beautiful, but it was, it was spectacular. Uh, you wouldn't know it, but I left a little room on the table. I practiced restraint at breakfast, and that's because I'm off to the coffee shop for round two. Serious question, where have Italian coffees been my entire life? Why am I just finding out about them now? They are amazing, they are life-changing, and I'm sorry to my Irish folk, my Irish brethren across the pond, I will choose an Italian coffee over an Irish coffee every single time. Mornings are where it's at, at the Excellence Carmen pool. That was a marvelous way to start my day. I had the entire pool to myself. Um, it was serene, placid, relaxing, tranquil. The sun action in the morning was perfect. It covers the entire pool. Yeah, it might not be as vibrant as a scene as it is in the afternoon, but still, that was such an amazing way to start my day. I've said it before a lot on this trip. I've said it previous to this trip. I'll say it again. I'm not the biggest fan of Uvera Alto. And one of the main reasons for that uh, would be the beaches. The beaches compared to what you find down in Bavro and Cap Cana just aren't as spectacular. The sands are darker, heavier, denser. The wave action is a little rougher and the water is just a deeper color of blue than what you're gonna find in the other areas of Punta Cana. The major standout about this beach is the entrance into the water. It is really flat and it's wide and it really creates an awesome transition as you head from sand to water. Uh, it is glass-like, it's ice-like, it's soft, it's shiny, it feels really cool on your feet. It's just a really neat phenomenon. After the beach, I went over to the Italian restaurant for lunch. The seafood restaurant is on the right-hand side, the Italian one is on the left. Both overlook the pool. I chose the Italian one, I thought it had the better menu. I had a caprese salad that was surprisingly fresh. And then I had a first ever, which was a Dominican pizza, but I can promise you it will not be my last. It was so delicious, I took the rest back to my room. So it's my last night here, and there are really two big things I want to do. Number one, I want to check out the very best restaurant on site, the French restaurant She Isabelle. And then after that, I want to go check out a little bit of the nightlife, either the lobby bar, the nightclub, or both. She Isabel was right up there with the best meals I've had in Punta Cana. That includes She Rose at Live Aqua, that includes La Boheme at Lopasan, it includes She Isabel at Excellence Punta Cana. For an all inclusive restaurant in Punta Cana, it was actually pretty incredible. The meat I was pretty much able to cut with a fork. The only downside was the salmon. I ordered that as an entree as well. Uh, compared to the rest of the dishes, it was certainly lackluster. But overall, a very top meal I've had in Punta Cana. Uh, after that, I headed to the lobby bar and there was a surprising amount of action there for 11 p.m. And then I checked out the nightclub as well. And for a Tuesday night here at Excellence Al Carmen, uh, the place was pretty buzzing and vibrant. I'll talk more about that later. Excellence Al Carmen, is the hype real? Uh, the hype is not real, but the hype is also real. 
I'll explain that riddle in just a second. Three negatives, three positives. Let's get the negatives out of the way. And there are definitely negatives. The first one is gonna be the pool. The sun action is really inconsistent. The best part of the pool is basically in the shade the entire day. And also there's only one pool. And I think for Excellence El Carmen, purportedly one of the best hotels in Punta Cana, there should be a secondary pool of some sort. Some alternative pool that offers a different experience from the main pool. All the best properties of Punta Cana have a secondary pool. Excellence El Carmen, where is yours? The second negative would be the service. Now, before you sound any alarms or go crazy, the service was good. It was probably great. Was it excellent? I don't know that it was. It certainly lacked the professionalism, class, warmth, and consistency I found at Finest and Excellence Puticana. And then lastly would be the rooms. And again, these are great rooms, but for the honeymoon suite at Excellence El Carmen, the room was definitely beat up a little bit. There are some miles on this room. I thought the bed was really chintzy and the temperature was almost unbearable. Although the thermostat went down to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, I can assure you that the lowest temperature in this room was probably 80 degrees. So those are the negatives, but what about the positives? Uh, the positives, number one, would be the beach. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but for an Uvera Alto beach, uh, the beach here at Excellence El Carmen is quite spectacular. The second positive would be the food. Now you always have to lower your standards for all inclusives. Even with the best all inclusives, you still have to lower them a little bit. But this is some of the best food you're going to get in Punta Cana when it comes to all inclusive resorts. And lastly, and this one is most shocking to me, uh, that would be the crowd, the energy. I have never seen a resort with this much class. Uh, that was this expensive that had the crowd so bustling and vibrant. I was actually shocked. And compared to Secrets and Live Aqua, which did have a little bit of energy, Excellence El Carmen blows them out of the water. If you're looking for a classy, distinguished, sophisticated, upscale, adults only, all inclusive resort in Punta Cana that has some vibrance, that has a younger crowd, that's gonna have some activity and energy during the day and through the evening, it is Excellence El Carmen. So with all that being said, is the hype real at Excellence El Carmen? Is it the end-all be-all for Punta Cana all-inclusives? Should I put it on a pedestal? Is it the hotel that all other hotels should be judged against? No, no it's not. I'm gonna rate it a five, but it is a fringe five. It's a flimsy five. It's not an emphatic one by any means. I had a couple knucklehead experiences when it comes to the service. I thought some places like the Spanish restaurant and a swim up bar were extremely understaffed. And overall, I think it just lacked the class, professionalism, and character that I found at Excellence Punta Cana. Uh, the hype is real in a lot of areas, but if you choose Excellence Punta Cana, Lopasan, Finest, or Secrets, you won't be missing out by any means. It's probably gonna make my top five, but it probably won't be there for very long as well, because on my next Punta Cana trip later this year, I'm headed down to Cap Cana to check out Secrets Cap Cana, Hyatt Ziva, Hyatt Zalara, and Sanctuary. I don't act rich on Instagram, no, no, no.